welcome to the Gilly Islands. Hello, welcome to Gilly. Hello, welcome to the Islands. In the last vlog, we were curious to check out how difficult the ferries were to reach the Gillies after reading some pretty terrible stuff online. But we made it without too much chaos, and the Savo, we're checking out Gilly Tea. Ain't she pretty? I was just like taking a minute to look at the water. It's the first time I've actually looked at it. That is stunning. <laughs> <laughs> We've booked some pretty nice accommodation. There's cocktails on the beach, swimming with turtles, food, and a bit of entertainment at the night markets too. <laughs> but a good warning for anyone wanting to visit the Gillies is the ethical dilemma you're going to face once you arrive. Because you might not know, there are no cars at all on any of the Gilly Islands. We're staying a little bit further away. Our only option really is to take one of the horse and carts and I don't know, like you can tell that the horses aren't super happy. I'm not super happy about it either. But I don't really know what else, like what the other options are. In hindsight, the best option would have actually been to book accommodation much closer to the port to avoid this altogether. But we do kind of feel compelled to talk about these horses because it is something that every tourist will face. Literally everything on the Gilly Islands has come by a boat and then by horse once on land. And these purpose-bred horses is a cultural thing and it's, it's not uncommon in Indonesia. But the good news is there's a much better standard of care in the past five years thanks to a few amazing organizations like Horses of Gilly. They've got a great FAQ about the improvements over time and new rules that they've helped implement as well. But despite all that, it still understandably leaves a bit of taste. <laughs> As you can see, like the walking condition aren't, aren't great. I think there's tiles and stuff here, but for most of the island, whoa, for most of the island, I don't think there is. This is really like off the beaten path. Whoa, far out, man. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, Stace doesn't like it. I can understand. It's not, it's not the best situation. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> Our horse nearly, our horse nearly ran some <laughs> Looks to be some awesome uh, cafes and stuff. It's so much more developed than when I was here, as you can understand, 11, uh, 12 years ago. I'm pretty sure when I was here, there was no air conditioned buildings other than you either went to a hotel with air conditioning or there was no, there was no like cafes with air con, like Wi-Fi was scarce. It very much was like fully off the grid and you only came here if you wanted to snorkel or dive or just lie on a beach and not much else. But Gilly T, the one we're on now, which we're only staying on for one day because of how busy and hectic this one is. This is the biggest and the most busy of all of them, right? Sorry, I'm really struggling to like, I'm like trying not to vlog and I feel, yeah. I feel like, I feel bad. Yeah. This is further than I was anticipating, but... Well, that's the thing, it would have been a long walk. Why not, why not golf cuts? Golf cuts would be ideal. Uh, yeah, so there are other small islands which we're going to. We're going to go to Gili Air. Gili Mino is the smallest, seems a little bit too chill. Gili Air seems like it's kind of somewhere safe in the middle. We were staying Villa Nero. This one was 100, I don't remember the rupee, but 107 New Zealand dollars. Kind of middle ground ish. Okay. Oh, that's lovely, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, what's this one? This is like herbal welcome drink. We put just ginger a little bit okay. and honey. Herbal, and honey, ginger. Yes, and lime. Thank lovely. You. <laughs> Enjoy. I think you might want that. Yep. Sorry, excuse the sweat factor. There's only so much wiping you can do before the reality of just it is stinking hot kicks in. Sweat moustache comes <laughs> in. Oh, that's not. Well, yeah, that's good. That's really oh, so cool in here. It's so nice and cold in here. Oh, this is loud. Is it outdoor? Oh, kind of half half. Hey, that's, I really like it like that though. Yeah. I like that outdoor element, but you're obviously, you're not showering, you know, in the sunshine or in the rain. Yeah. Well, thank you to nice. see. Oh, the toilets are here too. Here we go. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's kind of pretty, eh? It's like very, like, very Indo. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a better word. What's a better word? <laughs> Natural. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Dili! Hello, welcome to the island! Hey, island life. Where do we go? To go left. Yeah. I'm assuming that this is the main street. Well, um, I think it just goes right around the outside. Yeah, this is so nice down by the water. I haven't really done any research to find out what's like the, the place to go for lunch, but I'm sure we'll find out. Big difference from when you go from those back, those dusty back roads to the beautiful beach side. Sell the spot here. One of honestly along this beach line, maybe maybe one of a hundred. I mean, there's probably more. It just continues after a while. They all start to look identical, and I don't really know what you get that's any different. But this is the setting. I mean, it is it's paradise. It's um it's actually not the best for swimming because it's it's quite rocky. I think from what we've seen from look look at this guy. He's kind of awkwardly half half walking. Uh, so I think it's more you have to do what these people are doing and just lie down. Turtle here. Apparently this is a turtle. Oh, it is too. It's so rocky though. Not the best beach in that sense. That is awesome. We're just chilling there. The local guy comes down, turtle, turtle. Just right here, right here, it's unbelievable. Like I said, like not, really not the best beach in terms of the rockiness to kind of hang out in. But if you're just wading around like this, it's all good. And he said there's even, uh, later on, even bigger turtles will come in there. It's, we're using his hand movements was like this. So, <laughs> We'll see how that goes. But anytime you can see a turtle for free without needing to do a tour and just walk around like this with barely anybody else, that is sick. <laughs> wow. It's my coffee. It's just coffee, mate. Yeah. He's so disappointed. He's like, oh, bugger that. It's a few hours later, as per usual, I've had my afternoon nap. <laughs> um, after spending the afternoon at the beach, which was so nice, having a couple of drinks. I that, was, that was that was amazing. Actually. I feel like that's the first time we've properly relaxed in a while. Yeah, we made friends with these really two lovely Australian girls and we just chatted quite literally for I think it was almost two or three hours. Yeah, that was so nice. Uh, so the plan now is to go to the night market and just as we were walking out we were telling our hosts um, what we were up to and they were like don't forget to bargain we were like oh far out like we <laughs> hate bargaining we just get so awkward but they were like telling us what price we need to get things down to how much a skewer should be so now we're like ah shit wish us luck <laughs> yeah I, uh, that's a really cool thing about the warongs they're they're so cheap and you would never bargain because they're like you don't need to. You, you really don't need to, and it's such great food at such a low price. But he said like a skewer yeah, could be like sixty thousand. Like That's a what? Lot. Like you can get like two two meals. How big is the skewer? I know. I was like, it better be the size of my freaking arm, man. <laughs> it's crazy how much the um, like little festoon lights make things look so welcoming. They do, eh? <laughs> but it's so cute. We're just seeing like little swim up bars and. But there's some contrast for you. Oh yeah. Sorry, there's like so many things here. I need to go run on my scooter, bye. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Strongest man in the island. <laughs> okay. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
it's kind of nice to see somebody as well that just wants to chat and say hello and isn't trying to get us into a restaurant. I'm sure it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we walked too soon. Steak. If you take any steak, put the table for free after. And rice. Right, yeah, good. Got a yeah. so, they're just trying to avoid all the flies by the looks of it, eh? At least they're trying. So, yeah, I'd rather that. It all just looks quite similar, right? Yeah. Very nice. With some uh, nasi goreng. Me goreng. Me goreng, sorry, me goreng. Yeah, do you want that as well? Yeah. Then, what's the skewers, brother? This one, tuna? Uh, tuna? Mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. Yeah. This Some one? Chicken. 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 chicken with sauce. Chicken. With the curry sauce. Chicken oh, okay, with the curry. Okay. Chicken tandoori. Talapia. Catfish. Man, you're killing it. You got some good food here. Yes, my friend. This one has tasted mozzarella. Oh, that sounds good. Samosa with mozzarella, with chicken. Moja cafe, neck market. Yeah. Uh, no idea what happened there. We were told to negotiate. We even told them we were told to negotiate. Uh, they even hustled us up into bintangs. Not like that's a hard thing to do. I think the, ca the way that it works is you get two skewers, and then the two skewers came with four choices from the plates. They just wanted five servings of noodles. <laughs> I don't know what's happened here. But to summarize, two pretty big plates. I've also got a skewer of mahi mahi and a skewer of chicken, uh, curry. chicken curry. Two big bintangs, five servings of noodles, <laughs> two servings of noodles, and two other servings and of whatever. Some really friendly people that we just couldn't say no to. It's still only 175,000. <laughs> Cheers, boo. <laughs> hey, entertainment. Yeah, I didn't know we get free entertainment. No, we paid for that. <laughs> That's so funny. So the confusion was, it's like, you're saying it's 50,000 for two skewers and then you get four servings of the other stuff. And I was like, what if I just get four skewers because there's noodles for two? It's like 100,000 and you get eight servings. I was like, bro, can you simplify this? This is very complicated. <laughs> mm. yeah. The sweet soy honey something or other. But what's the noodle review? The final noodle review. Oh, I was going in for some fish. Final noodle review is um, nice homemade kind of flavour, <laughs> but um, cold. So um, a solid like six up. <laughs> Thank you.